Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. I apologize ahead of time for any echoing. I'm not gonna speak very long today, uh, but I'm working in an empty box. And speaking of boxes, I have this, uh, this pretty sweet Snap-on toolbox behind me. Unfortunately, it's not ours. Uh, the wife would probably kill me if I came home with something like like this. Uh, my little box is back there behind me. It's still Snap-on and I love it to death. Uh, but someday, someday I'll have a big box like this, color match to the whole shop, and uh, it's gonna be nice. But anyway, customer just dropped this off for a ceramic coating. Uh, we're gonna apply a full ceramic coating to the whole thing. You're probably wondering why would someone waste their money on a ceramic coating uh, toolbox? Well, really it's not that expensive when you think about it. This one doesn't have any scratches. It's brand new off the truck. Basically all we gotta do is wipe down any grease, fingerprints, which is pretty common. Uh, wipe down everything with a prep solvent from IGO and then apply the coating. It doesn't take a whole lot of coating to apply on something like this. Uh, you got maybe a half day's amount of work. Uh, so really, when you think about the cost of these tool, especially the Snap-on toolboxes, uh, when you figure in the cost of purchasing this box, and you figure in maybe like 350 bucks on average. Uh, if it's a black box, typically on a brand new black box, we still have to machine polish it because there's still some light scratches. Um, and it'll make it easier for the customer to clean up. If you spill something on it, splashes some oil on it, uh, drink dumps some soda on it, it will help a little bit with fine scratches, but by no means are these ceramic coating scratch proof. Uh, that's one of the things that on the internet, people say they're, they're scratch proof. They're not scratch proof at all. They're a little scratch resistant, uh, and we are using the IGL Kenzo, which is a very hard coating. Uh, but if you want bulletproof, you're almost gonna have to go with like a paint protection film, like a PPF, uh, that are meant for cars, but I'm sure you could put it on the front of your toolbox, uh, and that would prevent like screwdriver, a lot of screwdriver scratches and any fine scratches that you'll get uh, for the most part. I've never PPF'd one of these, uh, but I think it would be the ticket. It'd be a little, a lot more expensive than ceramic coating it. Uh, but it would work really, really well. So anyway, guys, let's get this thing started. If you do have any questions, feel free to comment below like always. Uh, so yeah, let's get this baby started. 